Hello friends, I am Shravana and welcome back to my channel Sparkling Future. Today we will discuss about abstract class. Before starting with the today's topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel and also please like, share, comment and hit the bell icon for the latest video notifications. Thank you. So abstract class is uh, used to achieve, achieve the abstraction. Abstraction means that hiding the details of the implementation and uh, show only the functionality to the end user. Like whichever have un un uh, uh, defined methods, unimplemented methods uh, in a class means it's abstraction. Okay, we are hiding the details of that particular fun uh, function. So the one any uh, one abstract uh, class can have both abstract and non-abstract methods, and it supports multiple inheritance. Okay, and uh, a class can extend only one abstract class. So that's the only rule. So now let's uh, have some hands on on that. So let me create a sample class first to understand why we need the, uh, I mean what exactly is the abstract class and what is the difference between the class and abstract class. Okay, I'll simply say sample, okay. Sample class. So this is general Scala class, okay. I, I wanted to show why we need uh, the abstract method. I mean in which cases we use the abstract and what are the rules for um, using the abstract methods, okay. For that let me create some sample class. So, primary constructor arguments and it has one function. So Here we have the primary constructor argument, so we have to pass the details here. So let me run this code. So if you see a simple um, this one class and uh, it is able to print that cub is a domestic animal and tiger is a wild animal. Okay, so uh, this is the class and uh, this is where we have the main method and it is uh, printing this. Now let's uh, remove this one. Okay, so what we just did was we have just removed the function uh, like uh, implementation here we are just giving the uh, function I mean we are just defining the function so now immediately it has shown the error what is that error means class sample class needs to be abstract since method print details is not defined now you understood right we have just declared but we have not defined so such kind of undefined unimplemented unimplemented method should be of abstract class so now let's say, let's say what will happen if we just make the class as abstract class. Then immediately it will show the error here. Saying that class sample class is abstract cannot be instantiated. So what we have learnt is undefined or unimplemented method should be declared as abstract abstract is the keyword for creating the abstract class abstraction means hiding the main implementation from the end user and second one what we have learned is we cannot instantiate the abstract class okay 
these are the basic rules of abstract class so this is what is the abstract class which means that we, we will um, we, we will have undefined or I mean anything abstract or non abstract methods uh, inside abstract class but mainly this is ma basically used the abstract keyword is used for um, just defining the methods I mean declaring the methods okay now I'll just uh, put it back and uh, let's go to because if this is erroring it won't allow me to run in the other okay okay so now let me create another class now we will see now you understood right why we need this is a sample class and in which situation we need to create the abstract means when we have un um, implemented our undefined method then we have to use the abstract class and also we cannot instantiate the abstract classes you understood right so now let's uh, create another scala class let's say animal example okay so now we have a class called anim class animal example now I'll make it as abstract and here I wanted to give val name equal to cow okay and I wanted to define one function okay so simple abstract class I have defined now I ha I need to create another class called maybe any class types or something extends animal example this is how we will use the abstract class for the main class for extending the abstract class so now let me have no I'll create another object okay let it be very uh, I mean let it be some small chunks of code so that you can understand better so in this I will write I will use this I will implement this one so in the get name plus name so if you notice here the name is coming from here we don't have any declaration inside this class okay I'll just show you that error as well then immediately it will show the error for this name because we are extending it here this name is accessible to this type okay so now let's say it has some other uh, method okay let's uh, create the let's create another variable and here this get type is of this the mem member of this types class not related to abstract class but still we are extending the abstract class it will allow us to use the members of this class inside this private function private in the sense it's private to this one right I mean inside the types function I mean to say okay So this type 1 is extended from this abstract class. Okay. So now because we need main method for running the Scala code. So now here well for this class only we can create the object we cannot create the object for an abstract class got it right so now t1 dot get name t1 dot get type ok so now let me run that code and see the output it should print these two things ok the name of the animal is cow the type of the animal is domestic so here in this uh, uh, types we have not declared this name and type so no one can see what is there in the name and type but that is mentioned inside this hidden class which is the abstract class so now let's say how to pass the variable to the 
up this one which one uh, constructor primary constructor primary construction constructor in the sense we should have the we, we can uh, have the I mean if you don't send anything it's a default constructor default primary constructor if we are sending some arguments then it is called as primary constructor right so so now let's say we have like this and I'm commenting because we don't require now we are passing it and here you have to have the name comma type one and even here it is expecting the same so I'll just copy paste it here so this is how we can uh, pass the parameters to a abstract class clear right okay so now here why it is erroring is we have to pass the parameters because there are parameters for that class right that's why clear so now let me run this code so the same same output but just that we have uh, pa we are passing instead of uh, reading from this one we are passing the values I mean uh, parameters to the primary constructor to the abstract class so we can also do that so actually in Scala we don't use abstract class much um, but we have a concept called trait traits that we will see in the upcoming videos so in which class we use the abstract uh, method is I mean uh, uh, by when we create the abstract classes um, by if we wanted to pass any arguments to the class so traits uh, cannot have any arguments okay you cannot pass that so in such uh, in such a case that you have a scenario where you have to pass the parameters to the class as a primary constructor members in such cases we use the abstract class and also let's say you are you ha you are calling the Scala class from some third party Java code then at in such cases traits cannot be used and that case only we will use the abstract class other than that we have a concept called traits that we will see and only that will be majorly used for inheritance concepts okay clear friends hope this is useful to you thank you for watching the video please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learning